This interactive simulation shows the concentration of just one component outside a membrane and within a membrane. And the simulation allows the membrane thickness, L, here the diffusion constant, the diffusivity within the membrane, and the equilibrium constant to be changed. The equilibrium constant relates the concentration within the membrane to the concentration at the external surface. And so notice the concentration in the bulk here is higher than the external surface, assuming there's some mass transfer limitation so that the reactive molecule is diffusing through the membrane fast enough to decrease its concentration close to the surface, but in the bulk phase, either liquid or gas phase. The equilibrium constant, of course, for the component we want to permeate through the membrane should be a large number. And in any membrane separation, we have multiple components in the feed. And for the components we don't want to permeate through the membrane, we ideally would like their diffusivities to be low and their amounts adsorbed to be low. So the simulation calculates the flux through the membrane, in this case micromoles per square meter per second. And the diagram here is a simple representation of what we're looking at. The feed into the membrane, some mixture, Preferentially, we have one of the components permeating, ideally. All the components may permeate, but at different rates, and we want to preferentially permeate one of them. Permeate is the, the output from the membrane, and then the retentate is what the remaining after we've removed through the membrane some of the components. So let's look at this interactive simulation to see how the concentration profile and the flux change as we change these parameters. So here's the interactive simulation. You can see if we decrease the diffusion constant and the flux will go down significantly and then we have there's a bigger concentration gradient across the membrane. If we decrease the membrane thickness, then the flux increases. We don't change those concentrations. So let's look at this condition. Now the equilibrium constant, if we increase this, notice we're increasing the flux because we're increasing that concentration absorbed on the feed side of the membrane. We allow for the possibility that a component could not absorb very well in the membrane, and therefore have a low concentration in the membrane and result in low flux. And this would be the condition we'd like for a component that we don't want to go through the membrane. 